Hey everyone, it's Brad here from ClusonChair.com and welcome to Slapsticks Hockey Blog Volume 2. As many of you know, the NHL All-Star Game is but a few days away, so I'm going to touch on that for a bit. Um, last, last time I asked anyone if they cared about the All-Star Game, and the response was not good. Not many people do, the voting system's flawed, and a lot of things are just generally wrong with how the NHL handles it. So um, I'm just going to give you guys my opinion on how players should be selected to the All-Star Game, more specifically the starting lineup. People are saying, oh, the fans shouldn't vote. They, it's, it's not good. They're getting it wrong. Well, isn't the All-Star Game about the fans? That being said, though, the starting lineup shouldn't be 100% picked by the fans. It should be split up into four ways. 25% of the vote is by the fans, 25% by the players, 25% by the managers and owner types of the teams, 25 by the hockey writers. You tally all their votes together and then come up with some sort of average to get the spots. That way the fans still participate, but the people who actually know what they're talking about get a say and players who deserve it should be there. Um, I don't know exactly how the averages will work. Not a math genius. That's just my suggestion. In related news, found out today that a bunch of players will not be attending the star All-Star game, most notably Sidney Crosby from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Okay. It's one thing to miss the All-Star game due to injury, that's fine. But he has been playing recently and hasn't seemed too bad or too hurt. The All-Star game itself is not strenuous. I've made my opinion, the guys just float around. So even if you're hurt, you can still be there, play half decent, fans are happy you're going to be there. Sidney Crosby is the NHL's marketing whore. People voted him to be there because they want to see him there. Unless... You have your leg lopped off at the knee, show up, play. Who cares if you play five shifts? Show the fans you care. Now, I know a lot of people are going to jump on me for bad-mouthing Sidney Crosby. He's not the only one who's doing this. I'm a Red Wings fan. Lidstrom and Datsuk aren't going. Not happy about it myself because as a Red Wings fan, I want to see them there. So the dedication by these players for the All-Star game is not there. Um, I don't honestly don't know to blame them or the NHL because... Like I said many times, nobody cares about the All-Star Game, and apparently the players are starting to feel the same way. And today they also announced the captains for the All-Star Game. Alexei Kovalev was named the Eastern Conference's captain. Okay, he has experience, hometown Montreal, probably not the most deserving guy. I can understand that pick, so I'm not going to say anything about that. Joe Thornton was named the captain of the West team. Wow. Um, I thought this spot was supposed to go to people who have either been having great seasons, accomplished a lot in their career, or who truly deserved it. In my opinion, that is not Joe Thornton. The guy has accomplished nothing in the playoffs, uh, is having a pretty good season, but nothing amazing. Meanwhile, guys who have accomplished stuff like Jerome McGinley, like carried his team on to the Stanley Cup Finals on his back, Mike Medano, who's been in the NHL for God knows how long, those two should be ahead of Thornton in my books any day, as of right now. Until Thornton proves something, I don't know, a bunch of assists just don't do it for me. Uh, and in my last blog, I touched on the fighting subject, and Husker Do 2 responded um, with an interesting idea that intrigued me. Because I was sounding off how The Rock and Even Ends are terrible for the game. They're just out there, play three minutes a game to fight for the sake of fighting, no real purpose behind it. Now, Husker 2 suggested that the NHL implement a rule that states if you play less than 10 minutes a game and you start a fight, it results in an automatic suspension. I like that idea. I don't know if we can go up to 10 minutes because there are some fourth line plugs who aren't exactly out there to fight who don't play that much. Um, maybe limit it to more like 5 to 7 range. But this is a good idea and of course there will always be technicalities so the NHL would have to state something. Um, Decisions can be overturned at the NHL's discretion, um, similar to the way they have the instigator in the last bit of the third period rule right now. Because if um, you know it is a heat of the passion fight, the ref screws up, gives um, him the instigator, which results in a suspension, the NHL can overturn it. Um, so just saying, this is a good idea. Gary Bettman, if by some miracle you're watching this, implement that rule as soon as possible. The goons are gone. Fighting stays. Everybody's happy. Well, at least me anyway. And I just want to give a quick message before I wrap this up to Tampa Bay fans. The sky is not 
falling. You guys have won five of the last seven games. Stamkos has been playing well. Le Cavalier still floats. He's getting better. St. Louis actually looks like he cares about the team, and Mike Smith is proven to be a capable goalie. You're not going to get Tavares. You don't need him. You have Stamkos. Maybe I'll get lucky, get a solid depth defense in the top five of the draft, which is what you guys really need. So stay tuned. It's going to get better soon for Tampa. Not this year, maybe not next year, but they will be back to contenders. Um, make sure you guys check out my blog I'm going to have upcoming this weekend as I will debut Slapsticks Heroes and Zeros of the Week. And uh, I think that should be interesting. So thanks for tuning in, guys. And don't hate me because I don't have an editing machine. Thanks.